Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's soccer match between the Casting Comets and the visiting Culver Cavaliers. Uh, I know that uh, the Comets have been pretty successful recently, uh, and I got Jake Passion here on the other headset with me. Uh, but after last Thursday's victory, uh, Noah Howdeshow had a, had injured his ankle, and uh, I know everybody was pretty concerned that he was going to be out for a little while. He is on today's starting yeah. line, though, so uh, that's good to see. It was definitely good to have him back. I know uh, the, the soccer matches that I've watched, there's not been a lot of plays that didn't somehow go have through Noah. It. I know that they, they're, they're really, they've really come to rely on him. He was uh, all-conference last year, or... Uh, and yeah. so, and we've got uh, several all-conference players on the line. So, uh, in a sport like soccer, obviously they need everyone. Yes. It's a beautiful day today. So that makes they have that. It, yeah, it's uh, it's warm, but it's not oppressively hot. Nice sunny day. Just a little bit of a breeze. Not like that first, uh, yeah, that first windy. match that we were up on top of the press box and the uh, the shots kept sailing clear over the <laughs> goal and ending up nearly in the bean field. Well, that was a good look, right off the bat. Ball sent out by Culver. Mm, that was a good pass. Nice footwork there by Culver's number 11, Shane Stevens. How to show with a nice look at the goal. Stopped by keeper Wyatt Ringer. It's nice we can actually know their names this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can actually kind of read the numbers on the jerseys and Throw in there was intercepted by number 18, Richard Fuhrer. I keep waiting for somebody to go shin to shin real hard. Yeah, I was like, thank goodness for shin guards. Bailey Simpleman coming way out for that stop. Good luck here, maybe. Mm. Oof, just a little outside, about a foot too far to the left on that goal shot there. No, it's actually my... Uh, sister-in-law's next door neighbor and yesterday I was coming past their house and mm. I saw him outside without the crutches that he was on oh, last week yeah. and like I said just really really a great thing to, to see because 
you know, school the size of ours, yeah. anybody out on <laughs> any sport. It's not a good thing. No, it's... Most of our sports don't have enough bench depth to support, especially a key player, getting injured. Nice stop there by uh, Hernandez getting in there, in on that dribble and breaking that run that Culver was trying to get going. Hopefully he won't get a yellow card this game. <laughs> Throw into how to show. Another good look. I don't think they're all communicating well. Pacheco getting in there. Nice move by Howdashell there, dribbling between the that defenders. Was a good decision, too. Look. Oof. Oh. I think he was looking at the refs for a call on that. He didn't get one, though. Yeah, no. Culver sending the ball up here into the sands. Go on, try to get it. Good move there by Brummett, getting that clear. Just get it out, because <laughs> I think he had a shot at the goal. I think we've talked about that before. Sometimes your best decision is just boot it. Yeah. Get the ball anywhere except where it is currently. Out of bounds. Man, that uh, Culver attempt at clearing the ball sent Colby flying. <laughs> sent Colby flying.
Yeah, it looks like uh, Junior Traden Shrim Shrimsher? Shrimsher. 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 Uh, Culver fans watching the broadcast, I do apologize. I'm doing good to keep my own kids' name straight, let alone the roster of a visiting school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, Shrimpshire had a had a pretty good looking break there. Let me have a look here. Nice mm, stop there move. by Howdashell, and oh, oh. He had a that good look a good at the goal. Good save there. Good defense by Culver. Mm. Nice shot on goal there by uh, Pacheco, too. Some nice passing here by Kasten. Mm. I think that might have been a little bit of a lack of communication there between Rowan and Patch. Yeah. Good send ahead there by Breed. Nice defense there by Brummett. Yeah. Lined up nicely for the head into the goal, but yeah, too much vertical, not enough horizontal on that. down there by the goal. That was a good send ahead. Oh, offsides. Yeah, I figured.
Hernandez there with a nice headshot. Mm. Offside again. That worked out well. Stop attempt there at midfield by uh, Joey Pizer. Didn't quite get lined up on the ball. Mm, he's fast. Wow. Nice sprint there by number seven. Uh, Trading Shrimpshire. I think I've got that right. <laughs> right? Is that, that's how you read that, right? Shrimpshire. Yeah, something. Shrimpshire. That could have been bad. Bailey came out and the goal was wide open. Roman with his uh, kick. Pass over to Pew. If he could cross it. Yeah, not enough on it. Culver's keeper uh, didn't look happy at the, <laughs> the pass. Yeah, that pass. <laughs> Just about a quarter of the game gone here. Still no score. That's definitely the risk in the game. Oh. <laughs> Patch with the center head. I think that's offside. Oh, I guess not. He's got an open look. Goal. And that's a goal for the Comets. Oh, hot show.
I think Culver was expecting it to be offsides because he just kind of looked at the referee. I, I, th official. I think you're right because they, they didn't have the hustle down there. And that's the risk of not going hard every play. Yeah, it, might, you, it wasn't offsides. Right. You see that a lot in football. It doesn't matter that the flag was thrown. No, just keep they, going. they keep going on that play and then let the dust settle where it will. Good stop on that. Sends it to midfield. He's got a shot, maybe. Wow. Uh. I think the ball's been in the bleachers today almost as yeah. much as it's been on the field. Yeah, no kidding. Thought maybe how'd he do a flip kick on that one? <laughs> Even make it. He meant to do that, but it was a good pass. And a hard clear there, but I think that was Hunter Manns. That was a deep kick. It was. <laughs> mm, maybe offside. Nope. Well, he better shoot it. Oh. Not quite enough angle on that. Man, someone should have been following. That would have been an open goal. A handball? Yeah, I think so. I saw it hit her elbow. I wasn't. You called it kind of late. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Ah.
Save by Zimpleman. That was a good touch by Holt. Some nice passing there. And the offsides might be a goal. Oh. Ringer just about let that bounce off his chest and roll over his shoulder. Fifteen minutes in the half. Comets leading one to zero. And an unfortunate bit of contact there on the uh Culver player. Yeah, that was not a good place to be kicked. Smart play by Jellison. He obviously was intending it for it to just go off of the Culver player. I don't see his number down there. No, look at you. Handball. Well, if the refs don't call it, it never happened. Shell getting kind of control of the ball. Goal. And there's a goal. Good thing he kept going with it. Keeper came out to uh, get a hold of it. Ball rolled past. How to Shell was in the right place to regain control of the ball and send it into the net. That was a nice play. Yeah, that was a nice play. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> that would have been sweet. Breed not happy about his uh, alignment no. on that shot. Yeah. That would have been a nice piece of highlight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's another handball didn't get called.
That was good footwork. Nice steal there by number 11, Shane Stevens. Just under 12 minutes left here in the half. That was like off, no off sides. They were one hit. They obviously didn't get it. Oh, I think he thought. No, it was behind him. Some good defense there by Culver. There's a Culver goal. Zopeman looks a little frustrated with himself after that one. <laughs> yeah. That's a good pass. Yeah. Out of shell and triple coverage, if quadruple coverage. <laughs> of course, I guess when a guy's put two points on the board, you kind of keep track of where he is, huh? Yeah.
<laughs> in and out. Jellison attempting a send ahead, couldn't quite get there. Nice soft touch there by uh, Trenton Fritter. Mm. Oh, oh! How is Shell getting clipped there? Hernandez was inter interfering on that pass. Didn't quite get enough to it though. Culver down here in Comets territory, looking to tie up the game. Nice clearing kick there by Alex. Maybe a good luck. Alex sending over to How to Show. Mm. Nice slide block there by it looks like number fifteen, Braxton Conley. How to show lining up that corner kick. <coughs> Under four minutes left in the half. <coughs> Comets still lead two to one. That was a good decision. Pass back to Holt. Tries to send it up to How to Show. Gets intercepted. Mm.
Hmm. That's a good look. Ringer keeps uh, sending it out on Culver's side of the field over yeah. there when he kicks it towards midfield. Zumpelman coming out to meet the ball. Under a minute left in the half. Mm, I think he, he waited too long. Pass it ahead. Fifteen seconds left in the half. Comet's just Comet's trying to keep the ball of the uh, Cavaliers into the field. Be nice to tack one more on before the buzzer. Siren bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the half, ladies and gentlemen. Comets are currently up two to one. We've got ten minutes here at halftime. Go ahead and get your snacks and your drinks and come on back. You're watching. Comets and Cavaliers soccer on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. 
RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24 seven for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. Hey, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The teams are taking the field to start the second half action here today. Comet's currently leading two to one against the visiting Cavaliers. It's a good game. There's been a lot of close calls at both ends of the field too, aside from points on the board. Yeah.
Breed lining up the corner kick down here. Well, we could have had a shot there. Yeah, like you say, there's a lot of picks that have been gone through the bleachers for some reason. Yeah, there's not much wind out there, and it's not, it doesn't look like it's much crosswind, so I'm hard saying. Reed's pass over to Rogers, overrun. <clears throat> mm, someone's down. I didn't see what happened. Didn't either. Uh, it's like uh, cover number 16 there, be Dalton Powell. Being helped off the field by his coaching staff and the trainer. The impact happened away from the ball, so I wasn't watching there either. <laughs> that was a tangle. Yeah, he looked like he meant to. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like he uh, looked like he was cleats up when. I don't know. They shook hands there. It was obviously yeah. not an intentional thing. Nice moves there by Jellison, getting the ball clear. Mm, that's a lot of open field for Jonathan. Good pass. Oh, open goal. And goal. Hat trick there for How to Show.
Well played there. He, he drew the uh, keeper out, faked him out. Yeah. Juked right around him, had the open net. Good move by Brummett there, just kind of breaking the flow of that play. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't get no. Yeah. What was that to say? Breed into How to Show. How to Show slowing it down. Back over to Breed. Mm. And stop there by Ringer. Colby was in the right position. Mm, good pass. And, oh, oh, so close. Comet's offense doing a pretty good job of drawing Ringer out of the goal. They've had a lot of good looks here this afternoon. Uh, some of them just off by inches. Yeah. Uh, How to Shells had one or two that were less than a foot and just rolled, didn't roll the way it won. That look there by Bra uh, by yeah Braden. Luke trying to get that pass cross field to Howdashell. Couldn't quite get it through the Culver defense. Alex kind of just taking a Almost looked like a nonchalant shot on goal there, and he was just a couple feet too far to the right yeah. with it. Pew getting in there. Nice moves. Over to How to Shell. Good look. Good look. Uh, no communication. That kick went high, but not very far. Hernandez just in there all over Good look. Oh. Pass a little in front of How to Show. How to Show managed to stop it before it went out of bounds, though. Good positioning here for the Comets, though. We're going to keep this deep down here into Cavaliers territory. Setting up for this corner kick. <laughs> they Alex. almost got the clean up. Mm. 
There must be a little bit more wind down there on the field than it looks like because Ringer was sending was sending those kicks hard to midfield from the opposite end, and now that he's down here, there's a lot of a lot of up, but not much out. Mm. That was a good head pass. Good kick ahead there by Breed. How to oh, show overruns okay. it just a little bit. He was racing uh, Culver's number four, Joey Pizer, to the ball there. Pizer, a freshman. He's uh, spent a lot of time out on the field, though. Good shot. Got just a little too much under that. Of course, he had a couple of Culver defenders barreling down on him, so. He had his left foot, but I don't think he was comfortable. He switched to his right foot, and that took a lot of time. Another little bit of a late call. Called, yeah, he uh, waits a little bit to call it. Called Pew out back here. At, well, about where the 45-yard line is for the football field. Brummett getting in there. Good pass. Oh. Oh. Breed had his legs taken out from under him there. Surprised there's no code. I'm going to guess the only thing that prevented a, a card on that it's was probably clean. The, uh, well, that and the fact he stopped and helped and, and helped Braden up. Oh, man, that was yeah. a perfect kick. It's a good look there by the uh, Cavaliers. That was uh, number seven trading Shrimpshire with that score. Twenty six forty eight left on regulation. Comet still with a 3-2 advantage. Shane Stevens getting right over there, giving Hernandez a hard time.
How to show. Nice stop. Sends it over to Breed. Oh, Breed lost his footing. Good pass. Oh, no, it was there. That might be, yeah. I think they're going to give Noah the penalty on that. Yeah. Kind of wondered about that. Because he's inside the, yeah. Didn't look like the cleanest of plays. Goal. And there's another goal. Know how to show putting four on the board here for Comets tonight. Does Noah have all the goals? <clears throat> he does. Braden's gotten a couple of good looks and they're just a little off the mark. I feel like... Uh, Alex might have had a shot on goal. Mm -hmm. Maybe Pew. Everybody else, uh, just a little bit off the mark. Ooh. Ooh, I think that they're... thought they were getting ready to call uh, yeah. hard how to <laughs> show on that. Nice stop there by Hernandez. Out of shell center and ahead to breed. Reed sends it just over the goal. Goes bouncing off the uprights for the field goal. Just over 23 minutes left in regulation here. Comets 4-2 advantage. Oh my, that was a bit over.
That was a heck of a kick. Yeah. I don't really know what happened there. I think Noah might have gotten kicked. Mm, that's a good look. I think Colby was intending that for how to show. Didn't quite get there. Culver number five, uh, Damian Byers getting in the middle of that. <laughs> Oof. Looks like Edgar is subbing out. Senior Kagan Slocum coming in, it looks like. Nice stop there by uh, Damian Byers. How does Shell getting in there? Oh, tangled up. Tangled up there with number 15, Braxton Conley. <laughs> I think Luke wanted Bailey to get it. He didn't come out in time. No, Rogers just kind of stripped that. Mm. Oh, got past Wyatt. Oh, ouch. It's kind of a pile up.
Oh, <laughs> why right in the face? Well, that's huge in your head. Yeah, really, really. Three subs coming in for core. Under 15 minutes left on the clock now. Slocum getting that ball worked out and over to how to show before it's kicked clear. I don't know, I know, I guess he's going all the way around. I think he's just looking for an open place, sends the ball over to Patch. Patch with the shot on mm. goal, just a little bit wide. Home teammate collision. I have a look.
Breed, you got to send in the corner kick. Out of show, sending it over to Breed. Mmm, good luck. Nice clearing kick by Brummett. Go oh, offside. This might be a good look. And Goal. there's a shot. Goal by Braden Breed. Gives the Comets a 5-2 advantage with just over 10 minutes left in the game. I think I just heard one of the coaches say, quit playing kickball now. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind That's of, what it seems like. It's kind of funny the comments you can hear drifting from across the field. I'm not sure what the comments record is. Yeah, you know, like we were talking before we came on air, I was – don't know if there's a something like John Harrell stats or Max yeah. Preps for soccer, kind of like looking to see what the projections are for the game, and yeah. I just don't know where to look for that stuff for soccer. Rogers missing that kick. Yeah, that, is, that never feels good. Oh, uh, what's a little hyperextension between friends? <laughs> Luke Lau working the ball up the field. Breed with the kick ahead to Slocum. Go, go, go. Slocum. Oh. Wide to the right. Switching the goalie out. Sending in number 99, Josh Haverin. 
Brady Evans came in for Brady too. Oh, wow, way over. That was a field goal. A little bit more than five minutes left in the game today. Oof. Nearly head to head there between uh, Cavaliers number five, Damian Byers, and Comets number 20, Alex Hernandez. Saved by Wyatt. I think How to Show actually managed to get up there and get some interference on that ball. Yeah, he was Came running out of nowhere. I'm breed back in for the comments. Oof. Nice stop there, but Hernandez. Noah's taken all the way out. Kind of a good play there because now he's got a corner kick. So. He's got a corner kick. All Culver could do was try to reach in for it and then yeah, kick it out of bounds, which out, is yeah. exactly what happened. Confusion <laughs> on the call. <clears throat> Brummett gaining control. Trying to clear it out of the backfield here. Kagan getting over Breed back to Slocum. 
2.45 left on the clock. Oh, this might be good luck. Mm. Nice stop there by the keeper, Josh Haverin. Comet's working on keeping that ball clear of their territory as the clock winds down. Just minute, over 90 yeah, seconds left. And that hurried up shot there, but I think it was number 11, Shane Stevens, went way high at the goal. Comet sending in Lizzie Pearson, Emily Cron. up there number 12 yeah that was a pile up oh we also had a uh, number 14 uh, Megan Brown come in for the Comets Zumpman going out to grab the ball. Time's winding down. Yep, 20 seconds left on the clock. <clears throat> Looks like Kasson's going to get another win. I got the WAP 4 for calling it. Before this final buzzer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, final score here today. Cast and Comets 5, Culver Cavaliers 2. Uh, we're going to let the team, sh team shake out. I'm going to go away here for a couple words from our sponsors, and we'll see about getting uh, Coach Nar Sanchez up here to talk to us in a post-game wrap-up. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Soccer on Cast and TV on RTC TV 4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. This is a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. 
I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here this evening as the cast and comments pulled out a 5-2 victory over the visiting Culver Cavaliers. 
Uh, head coach Nar Sanchez has had some things that he's had to take care of down on the field. So uh, signing off today for RTC TV4, I'm Blair Zimmerman. Been joined tonight by Jake Passion. Yep, thanks for having me. And well, thanks for coming up and helping. And uh, tune in next time. Uh, plenty more RTC4 coverage of your local schools, hyper local coverage that for the community that you support. This is RTC TV4.